former mayor John Tory violated the city's code of conduct by having a relationship with a staff member in his office and by voting on the matter related to FIFA World Cup 2026 and the city's bid. That according to the Integrity Commissioner and a 122-page report that was released this morning. Nearly eight months after former mayor John Tory abruptly resigned from office, admitting to a relationship with someone on his staff, it's now been determined he violated two ethics rules. Integrity Commissioner Jonathan Batty concluded that during the affair with a woman he referred to as Ms. A, Tory failed to observe the terms of human resources and ethical policies set out by the city. The city's current mayor, Olivia Chow, was asked about the findings. I know the people of Toronto feel let down and disappointed uh, the previous mayor's uh, conduct. I share the same feeling. Um, as leader and a holder of higher office, we do have a responsibility to have a, a higher code of conduct. The report found that Tory's relationship with Ms. A started in the summer of 2020 during the COVID pandemic and continued until after she left for other positions, including a job with Maple Leaf Sports and Entertainment or MLSE. Batty also determined that Tory improperly used influence when he voted in favor of hosting the FIFA World Cup in 2026. That included approval to have the city enter into a contract with MLSE in what has since been controversial unto itself. This has raised a number of flags for me around how this was negotiated, what happened, and I think this is really the part, the procurement part, that is the most um, concerning piece here outside of having an affair with one of your staff. I will be uh, working with councillors and uh, to make sure that every dollar being spent, uh, every taxpayer dollar spent on the FIFA bid uh, will, be, will, be, will have its value. Tory has since released the following statements, quote, I fully accept the Integrity Commissioner's findings that I could and should have handled this matter differently. I also recognize that he has made it clear that no misuse of the mayor's office or its resources and the relationship, while inappropriate, was consensual. The report also states that because Tory is no longer at City Hall and self-reported the matter, the Integrity Commissioner is not recommending a penalty or remedial action. A number of other city councillors were approached for comment here at City Hall today, but chose not to offer their thoughts. In the meantime, this is a very complicated and detailed matter. For more information, you can go to our website at citynews.ca for that much more. Mark McAllister, City News.